Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Jimmy's World. Today we're going to look at a contraption I, I came up with. I couldn't find anything on YouTube, so I thought I would share it with you. This is a situation where I want to use a shop vac that controls a central vac. Um, the reason why I want to have a central vac is um, in my garage I have two parts. I have one is my shop and the other side is the carriage house, which we call it. And so it's like a living area. And so what I wanted to do is actually be able to have a central vac plug in the wall. There's, there's my door closer. Um, in the wall to be able to use so it's more like a home. And then on the other side I want to be able to use it as a shop. And have a few outlets for my tools. So one is up here. Sorry for all the movement. One's up here. I can plug it in here. That's close to my work. It's close to this workbench. But then also at the back where my sanders are and my grinders, I want to have another one, which is up here, and I can put that in. And the reason why I want to use the central vac control is that way if the, the children plug plug it in and turn it on, if I'm just going to have a switch, there's, there's a chance that these will all be closed and you might burn out the vacuum. So the problem I ran in into is basically the wiring. Um, all the plumbing works fine not an issue um i just had to basically just uh create a a mating um to mate it with uh you know between the actual vacuum pipe and the central vac pipe which really wasn't an issue i just basically cut it off popped it in i think i put some uh some type of epoxy in there and then basically all the wiring is the same as you do for a central vac right except you need the switch and this, this wiring here is actually low voltage wiring, which is 24 volts. And that is the switch that actually turns on the, the, main, the main vacuum cleaner. And so what I end up doing is I have a box up here. And this box, actually you can see right there. On this side it has the 24 volt, um, uh, I can't remember if it's a rectifier, basically it takes 120 down and... AC and puts it down to 24 volt and that volt voltage is used for the actual uh, the actual central vac um, switch and then in here is the power connections and I also have um, uh, what's it called it's uh, a relay sorry I have a relay in there basically what the relay does is when the 24 volt makes the connection it the relay connects to 120 volts and so then that's what I have right here. This power coming out is where I have the vacuum plugged in and that wire goes into here and that's what the relay controls. So basically I'll just show you how it works. I just take this central vac hose here. Sorry, tricky. Okay, and I plug it in. Plug it in, it turns it on, and when you unplug it, it turns it off. So, anyway, I hope this is useful. And uh, what I'll do is I'll attach the actual um, the relay and uh, the, the the transformer um, in the in the bottom, so you to uh, Amazon where you can find it yourself. And uh, thank you. Bye.